is 11. Let's see, 11. This is 11 Spatial, which is Chinese Lego. One thing I've learned from this build is that the Lepin bag numbers are meaningless. The bags are organized by size, large pieces together, small pieces are together. So if I was to do this again, I would open all the bags all at once, null them all out, and then assemble. That way I don't have to keep nulling out each bag as I go every time I need a new small piece. Overall, the instruction manual is easy to read. It looks like it was just a printout of the Lego PDF. I've got a link to that in the description below. Overall, the assembly was easy. The pieces fit well. It felt like I was building with Lego, even though it was Lepin, not Lego. Each of the pieces didn't have the Lego logo on each little nib. Instead, each piece had one little divot on it, which was probably from the manufacturing process. But once it's on your shelf, you can't really tell the difference anyways, so I didn't find that to be that big of a deal. So this is the finished shuttle part, the Canada arm, and so it can stand on its own. wheels or regular wheels. Front wheel spins like it should. So that's pretty good. These back wheels don't turn very much and I may have to make them like a roll them around a lot to get them smoother, but it stands on its own. And the top pick comes off. So you can get your little mini figs in there.
took about seven hours of assembly and I liked it. I was pretty happy with the product that Levitt made. While this kit does stand pretty tall, it's not nearly as tall as the Saturn V. 